À, chào mừng quý vị quay trở lại với chương trình Tôi Việt Nam trên kênh FBNC với cuộc trò chuyện về chủ đề những quyền thương hiệu franchise cùng với hai vị khách mời trong chương trình ngày hôm nay là chị Shin Naidu là giám đốc của Astream Consulting là đơn vị tư vấn và kết hợp kết nối giữa các uh, cơ hội về franchise giữa các nhà đầu tư quốc tế và các doanh nghiệp Việt Nam và anh Harry An là tổng giám đốc của chuỗi nhà hàng Lion City. Welcome back. Uh, so, Ms. Naidu. What are the opportunities for, let's say, the Vietnamese franchisors who want to sell franchising in Singapore? Well, the opportunities are great because, especially if you think about it, in the F&B scene, um, the cuisine in Vietnam is fantastic. What better platform to enter the world um, than to enter via a franchise platform? But what do they need to keep in mind if they want to set up a business in, in Singapore and they wanted to look for and franchisees? All right, before you can actually step outside mm. of your own local arena, it is probably um, essential that, number one, you look through your own business model, your business processes, and mm -hmm. understand where your intellectual properties are. And of course, at that very first level would be your branding. If your branding is uh, fixed branding, if it's identifiable, if it's attractive, if it's got global appeal. Mm. Um, sometimes a Vietnamese brand may be a little bit too local mm. to go international. Okay. So these are all things that you need to fix before you enter the global uh, arena. Number two is actually to then find a way to um, get extract intellectual a, uh, extract business significance out of your intellectual property, which mm -hmm. means how you make money and revenues out of the systems and the products you have created. Mm -hmm. That would get come from anywhere from um, the supply of your products, can come from supply of re human resources, uh, systems, know-how, curriculums, mm -hmm. stuff like that that make your business unique. So these are all areas you need to determine that uh, are already intellectually protected and that you can make money from that. The next step is to actually come up with a sound financial um, system mm. that allows you to understand how the revenues are going to be made, not just from the company as a franchisor, but look at how the master franchisee is going to mm. get revenues. And even more importantly, if this master franchisees have been tasked to um, sub-franchise, hmm. then how the sub-franchisees at the single unit franchise level make money. Because a franchise is really an ecosystem of many different businesses coming together with a common goal, mm -hmm. which is to build one brand. And the ones that are really on the operating front, the mm -hmm. foot soldiers, really have to be making money and be happy that they are uh, making a living and building a brand that they are proud of. Mm -hmm. And then if everyone in this ecosystem is successful, okay. then the brand actually automatically will have a greater chance of becoming successful as well. So in terms of revenues, does the franchises have to commit with a specific amount that they have to make in the first couple of years if they you know, running the franchise? Okay, so there are two things you're asking me. Yeah. One is how much they will be uh, needed to invest. Sure. And another part is how, how much, much they, they have, have to, to earn, yeah. right? So um, the first part is about, it's very important information from the franchisor because the franchisor requires the franchisee to build a business model that is replicable to mm. theirs, which means that they need to know how much they're going to spend and on what. Mm. So that first part, yes, a franchisee needs to be able to commit to the capital investment needed to build the business. Okay. All right. And they not only need to do that, importantly is also to have enough capital to run the business for another potentially six months okay. so that it allows the cash flow to come in. Mm. And then on the other part, where how much money they have to earn. Typically, as a business goes, there mm. is a normal PL, which means that the franchisees need to be profitable. So, literally. In the first year even in the first year of doing Well, the franchisee will need to be at least operationally mm. um, profitable. Otherwise, it's not even a franchisor's requirement. It is not good business sense for the franchisee as well. Mm. So changes need to be made so that the franchisee's chances of um, success mm -hmm. are increased. 
whether it's uh, intervention by the franchisor mm -hmm. or the franchisee taking uh, active steps to uh, find where the gaps are in their business. Sure. So, Mr. Ang, what are some of the biggest challenges of running a restaurant franchise in Vietnam? Oh, it's, it's really very, very tough. Okay. Uh, through our eight years of experience, uh, surprisingly, we granted our first franchise in 2009. Mm -hmm. Today, it's uh, 2014. Our most uh, successful uh, franchise outlet, which we have gone through, the third franchisee mm -hmm. that we got it straight, <laughs> straightened. Sorry. Okay. Because um, from the first franchisee, um, I think the mindset was not right, but also due to our inexperience, we have never had to uh, run a franchise before and did not consult uh, like uh, <laughs> uh, Sen Naidu here uh, yeah. with a consultation of how to run a franchise. We just did it and wanted to experience ourselves. Mm. So there's a lot of uh, strict rules to follow in, uh, for franchises, but we did not have that in place. Mm. So apparently we had to face the problems whereby the franchisees just did what they want to do. Mm. Like for example, even a bottle of uh, uh, fish sauce. Uh, what we use for our one of our favourite uh, noodle dish, which is the fried Hokkien noodle, mm. that fish sauce, we need that specific brand is because uh, the taste, okay. the end product, the quality. So apparently, it costs like uh, 30,000 dong. Mm. The franchisee went to change to a smaller, bo a, a cheaper S bottle to save some cost. To save just a ten thousand dong, whereby that <laughs> bottle could have lasted him for one month. Mm. You know, it doesn't make sense. And we had the uh, complaints from uh, customers that says, "Hey, now your taste of fried Hokkien noodle in that outlet is not the same." So, what did you do to make sure that they follow they follow your rules? Okay, for what uh, we do now, because of the experience that we have gained, uh, what we do number one, we have got all the paperwork done well. Mm. You know, they had to follow this, follow that. And what we do is every month, uh, we do a check on them. <laughs> and um, before we even sign that contract agreement, the franchise agreement, we make sure that uh, they basically, they want to follow it. Then we do the franchise. If not, we will not want to do it because we know what kind of problems will happen. Going through the first-hand uh, experience mm. whereby normally people will not go through that. Mm. So yeah. for now, you have some lesson that you learned before. Yes. And right now, your franchisee is running well. Yes. They are doing well. Uh, after following uh, the, <laughs> the rules that we have set for them, mm. they are really doing well. Much better than the first franchisee. And right now, are you looking to expand more through franchising? Yes. Uh, in uh, Vietnam, we are looking at a few more bigger cities. And uh, actually, we are ready to face the world. Mm. Yeah, and how competitive right now is the restaurant business in other provinces, not just big cities, but in other provinces that you look to expand more? Okay, basically, uh, competitions, there will always be competitions. But mm. the difference is that because we are very authentic Singapore cuisine, mm. which uh, so far we have not seen any in Vietnam. Mm. Out of Singapore in the world, I think Lion City is the one that really promises mm. the authenticity of Singapore food. I have to agree. Okay, thank you so much for sharing. We come back after a short break. Thank you. À thưa quý vị vừa rồi những chia sẻ của chị Sin Naidu là giám đốc của Astream Consulting, chuyên tư vấn về lĩnh vực nhân quyền thương mại và anh Harry An là tổng giám đốc của chuỗi nhà hàng Lion City. À quý vị có thể xem lại hoặc là xem trực tuyến chương trình này trên website fpnc.vn hoặc là góp ý cho chúng tôi vào trang facebook.com/tôi về Việt Nam. Chúng tôi sẽ quay trở lại sau ít phút nữa.